Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Parkside Digital Clam Meter model PZM2A2 two two, 3 years warranty, batteries including measuring range is DC voltage 0 to 600 volt AC voltage 0 to 600, AC current 0 to 600 amps and resistance 0 to 60 milliohm Capacity is uh, from 0 to 6 mF and frequency from 0 to 1 MHz Safe indirect AC measurement without interruption of the circuit. For precise measurement of DC voltage, AC voltage, AC current, resistance, capacitance, and frequency. Includes diodes and continuity testing. Nice on that. Let's open and see what we have inside and how we can work with that. Butter is included, and there is and the manual. If you want to read it, it's your choice, but stay with me, we're going to find out all about this product. Cables, it's quite long, it is about 60 cm. Now at the device we can see TRMS Digital Clamp Meter, 600 amp box, cut 3 600 volt earth grounded. Okay, current clamp jaws. We've got the rotary knob, choose your values you want to measure, button select, button hold, button rail, the display, terminal, volt, hertz, ohm, ground, ohms, everything, and the comb. The test probes, take out the protective caps, connect here, red and the black. From the back we've got the battery compartment, we need a screwdriver to take this out. Hear a beep. Let's turn it on, the first value we are here a beep, it is the DC volt. It will enable you to test small electronic circuits indicator lights and batteries great second value it is the ac volt this is the most common that you can use uh, for testing voltage around the home or work depending on where you live you will uh, typically measure uh, between 100 and 240 volts ac let's go to hertz you can use it to measure the frequency of your circuit or equipment Next, it is the diode test. It is the most reliable way to test if your diodes are good or bad. And other way to test if the diode is functioning well. It is the ohm settings. Go to the ohm settings. But it isn't so accurate like the diode settings test. And at the ohm settings, it's usually to measure the resistance, which is measuring in ohms. And um, the most common name is ohmmeter. One other way to use the ohm settings is also a quick and easy way to test the condition of the, your fuses. And of course test your fuses when they are out of the box, not at the electric box. And next. And here is the continuing test and the diode test again. And next. And there is the AC current. It can measure the load that an object is using. I saw that and I can see it's very easy to use it and with this finger only and change the values. Press the trigger. Great, I like it and I think it's time to test it to see if it will give us a very accurate values. Let's turn it on. We can measure the voltage. Two thirty-four. Nice. Hold will turn on the screen, and of course you can measure on the hertz with only one cable, and we get fifty hertz. We can measure my power adapter of my laptop. Nineteen point thirty-five, correct. And of course, we can measure the hertz of this adapter. Nineteen point thirty-five. 
and we'll get 50 hertz. You can measure from a battery 4.076. Okay. And now I can measure the load of this multiple power cord. Turn on my boiler. For now, it doesn't show us anything because we are measuring the three cables, the live, the neutral and the ground. If I'm going to choose only the live cable, you will see we've got 7.33 amps the load, the current. And if I'm going to put all the cables together, it doesn't show us a very accurate, you need only the live cable. And if I'm going to connect another device, so let's say a toaster. And again, I'm going to check only the live cable. Oh, <laughs> double. We've got uh, near 15 amps the current. And if I'm going to check it together all again, I'm not going to take any measurement, any numbers, correct? You need only to check the live cable. Great! Enough of the power consumption. All these devices, they have a huge power consumption. And here we are at my main panel, electric panel. I can check the live cable and see the law of the current. 8.4 and of course I can check some diodes and resistors Nice, great. I think we've got a good and correct numbers. Well, guys, if you're an electrician, definitely you need a digital clamp meter to have it with you every time. And of course, why not for a DIY projects at your home? Definitely, it is very easy to find out how is work uh, this uh, digital clamp meter. I have shown you some of the key features that it can measure and have some values to this display the price is very good it cost about 15 euros well and if you need something like that to have it at your place why not just buy it and with all that guys this is the end of the video thank you again for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel like or like my videos your choice share this video you never know who may need it and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it have a nice and lovely day bye bye